Hey guys, welcome to Big Loz Official. Uncle Loz here with lovely Liz, although we're gonna have to change her name because she's decided that she wants to <laughs> do a reaction video to injuries in Strongman. And <laughs> I've not seen this list yet. I know you want me to kind of watch some of these, and I, I'm sure I'm gonna be included in this list. I, th I think basically since I said I wanna compete in Strongman again, she's trying <laughs> to do things to, to put me off it. But, um, so, so just be aware that there's going to be some graphic injuries coming up. Yeah, viewer discretion is advised. Shall we dare to take a look at these videos that you've set up? So I, I'm going to, I can guess some of the injuries that are going to be in here. Have you got a good mixture? I know, I've got, I've got a few up my sleeve that I don't think you'll have seen before. So. Okay, interesting. Here we go. So let's, um, let's go and have a look. Okay, so before I show you the video, I'm going to give you a little bit of background. Okay, so the first one is from 1981's Britain's Strongest Man. I'm, going I'm back. Gonna, yeah, we're going way back. I'm going to butcher his last name. This is quite a, a I don't think I don't, I, don't think, I don't think I've seen this one before. You, you won't have. It's quite tame compared to some of the others. I'm breaking you in gently. Okay. Steve Zetilovsky, I yeah, think. Yeah, I've, I've heard of yeah, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 1981, Britain's Strongest Man. They're doing a wheelbarrow race. So they're literally picking up a wheelbarrow and running with it. Obviously, it's heavily weighted. It's quite wobbly. And in Steve's case, it flips and he falls onto it, injuring his leg. So let's, let's take, a, take look. a look. Doesn't sound too scary. No, so. no, it's quite tame, okay. this first one. So this is from 81, Britain's Strongest Man. Yep, 81. Look at him, he's looking over, they're up. Yeah, so he came into this competition with a leg injury. Okay, so he's struggling a bit there. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Not too... Look at the walk off, it's proper. That's proper, like, just a wheelbarrow, isn't it? It's not like yeah, the modern a, wheelbarrows it? where you have... Oh, he's putting a limp on there, isn't it? Yeah. No, that's a genuine limp. He probably thought he'd broken his leg. Look at that hurt. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. His poor wife it's, propping him up. I know that feeling. It's more looking back at the old school strongman that I'm laughing at. He's got a nasty gash he on his has. leg there. Yeah. Looks quite painful. Yeah, we've been there. There's certainly, certainly not the worst, I think, that we're going to see on the list. No, but... no, definitely not. But um, I just thought I'd throw in something that people probably haven't seen yeah, before. Yeah, that's you, you, you easing us in general. Hopefully that wasn't a bad injury that he's... I wouldn't no. have thought it would have taken too long to overcome. No, 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 definitely. I don't think there was any permanent damage. I like watching some of the old school strongman shows. Yeah. Especially the really old ones. Oh yeah, like I love watching it. It's just that some of the events were completely wacky. I mean, that was quite tame to be fair yeah. compared to some of them. So next up then is your first entry onto this list and it's the Norse Hammer from 2015 World Strongest oh. Man. So you're in a better position to describe this than me because obviously- Well, you were there, you, got to, to you, you got to watch it. Yeah, if you listen carefully, you can hear me scream. <laughs> you can, you hear me scream so this, in the background. This was, um, this was a bad one for me. Mm -hmm. I am um, well firstly this was an adaption of a Fingles finger World's Strongest yes. Man were trying to change the event a little bit they decided they were going to create these Norse hammers so they basically put like a hammerhead on the end of the Fingles fingers Fingles fingers were a tough enough event as they were yeah um, and I think the concept was a good idea but they didn't test the event um, and started pushing the thing over and I just feel something go in my tricep. This thing comes crashing down on me, knocks me to the floor. It looks a bit worse than it was um, because I, I do almost like fall back as it's coming. So it doesn't actually yeah. sort of take too much out of me. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't take the full impact, do you? No. Because you sort of threw yourself yeah. back away from it. But my tricep just went and I just couldn't do anything. Luckily, there were stoppers in that would stop it kind of falling on top of me. If that came on top of me, I probably wouldn't be here now. Yeah, well, let's um, not even think about that. Me so, against the drillers. Yeah, so this is fan footage um oh there you go yeah i've got you from another he's done angle he's out of it <laughs> what a pussy and from a different angle so look how awkward it is you've got to kind of use both hands to kind of get it up to your shoulder then you've got to shunt yeah. it up yeah so we're wearing the gloves because it was quite slippy as well and it was humid and you can Am I getting it over there? Yeah, yeah, that first, first one, one goes. Over. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 that's that was it. The, that done. was the second one. The first one's already uh, over. Okay, yeah. I knew I got the first one over, okay. Okay, so next we have British strongman Gary Taylor in 
Battle of the Vikings 1996. Yep. So this is a team event. He was teaming up with Jamie Reeves and they're okay. obviously representing Great Britain. This event was quite cool, I guess, a little bit different. So they have this like um like a lorry, like a flatbed, yeah. and they push it to these tires and then push they the load lorry. the tires. Yes. Okay. So they push it together and um, they stop it and then they've got three tires getting um increasingly heavy. Uh, on the third tire, you don't quite see it, but um, obviously you see his reaction. Gary Taylor's uh, tricep snaps completely off the bone. It's a pretty nasty one. Let's take a look. So one at the front, one at the back. Yeah. It's a hell of a team, isn't it? it is Those two, two former world strongest men. Oh, so they've got to flip it up onto the yeah. top. Yeah, that's up awkward. Onto the flat bed, yeah. All right, that one's not too bad. They got it going. Bear in mind, they got to fit three of them on there. Yeah, that's and they're big tires. So Gary's doing the work there. Yeah, <laughs> Jamie's in. Uh, Jamie's the driver. <laughs> <laughs> Even just pushing it on, not that it's going to be difficult. The, the tires get so grippy. Awkward yeah. event. And look, there's not much space to get that third I'm tire. I'm just thinking, on. where are they going to put that last one? Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Gary's so muscular as well, you can kind of just see everything go on him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not laughing at him getting injured, but I'm laughing how and we, we all do this. He's injured his tricep there and he's, he's hopping limping. off. Yeah. <laughs> it must be a it's, weird thing. It's just a, it thing. is just the reaction to sometimes when you injure yourself as well, it doesn't even hurt at the time. It's just such a shock. Yeah. Because it's like the muscle just rips and that's like, you're like in absolute shock. It's like almost like being shot. Yeah. It's, well, you know, well, luckily I've not been shot, but from what I've been told, I've it's like a fast anything. Because it, it happens so quickly. And you, obviously these weights that the guys are lifting, it just goes and <laughs> then you do your football a roll on the floor <laughs> and then milk it for as much as you can. That was an interesting event. Obviously, you know, never nice to see an injury. But um, event-wise, I quite liked it. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit different. It is. We don't tend to see. It was. Like I think it was anymore. quite. Um, I, I would have thought maybe more the bicep would have gone on something like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's a strange injury to get on that type of event. Yeah. But yeah, not. Um, it's, and it's another one I haven't seen before. So well done, dear. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so sticking with poor Gary Taylor. So he had surgery to correct that injury. The next year he was back, he was competing at Europe's Strongest Man. This time it was a tire flip, 450 kilos. Now the tire actually had water in it and they were doing it on what already looked to be a slightly shiny surface and the water was coming out of the tire causing Gary That's, to slip. Uh, I get so angry now if I see like a tire event done in any wet kind of conditions. Yes. Well, we've it's, seen it time and time yeah. again, haven't we? But this falls back. I, I know of this. Obviously, when I spoke to Gary, we were talking about it and this was a career ending injury for him, it wasn't was, it? It was, yes. I think tire flip could have caused more injury in Strongman than any other event. You might be right. Particularly bicep tires. It's, it's a heavy tire as well. It's um. The tire, the tires are weird because the, sometimes it's not the weight, but just how condensed they are or yeah. how awkward they are. You can get some bigger tires that are actually a bit easier. I've seen what I mean about the surface of the floor and to have water coming Yeah, you out certainly don't that. want water coming onto that. And you can see where it's wet. Yeah. It's kind of scary waiting for someone to get injured, it's isn't it? It's not nice. <laughs> no. I think this would be the one. No, is no, it right? no. Is it right? You know, it's funny with tire flip, particularly the bicep tears on tires. It's normally the first flip that the the, the bicep goes. It's a Baron Venenberg there. I believe so. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. So tires on top of him. So you can't actually see it, but the the tires fallen back up. I think his knee gave way, didn't it? Yeah. I think it hit his oh. knee on his way down and then he couldn't you can save see himself. That, you can see that's a serious one, you trapped know. Him. Like you can just see in his face that Yeah, you he, can see in everyone's face, can't you? The reaction. When you know it's crowd. bad, you know. You get some injuries and it's like yeah, oh it's bad, but you know especially if you're experienced, you know like in a week or two you'll be okay. Yeah. You can tell with something like that. He's yeah. um yeah, it's it's yeah. all over his face, isn't it? Bit sombre, let's move on, shall we? Yes please. <laughs> 
Okay, so back to you again. So this time is 2014 Europe's Strongest Man, the World Deadlift Championships. I'm sure you remember it well. You pulled a really fast and easy 435 kilos. What were you going for? It was a world record at the time? 446. 446. This was probably me and my best in terms of deadlifting as well. And yeah. leaner as well. Yeah, yeah. You were you were lighter and you were strong with it. So um but the lat just went, didn't it? Pinged, and you can see it ping. This is a pretty grim one, so let's have a look. There we go, we go. beardless Sorry. laws. Yeah, oh, there we go. And now we're gonna get to see it in slow-mo. There you go, Ooh. oh man. That's a genuine jump back, isn't it? And yeah. Thanks for that, dear. Thank you, dear. We'll move on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um. That was that was a frustrating one. My deadlift felt really strong. I I, I honestly believe that day I could pull a thousand pounds. The best my deadlift has ever been. Four thirty five absolutely flew up. Didn't yeah, four thirty five so. went up really quick. Four four six started coming up, and I just you well, you could see. It yeah, just, just went. Yeah, well, there's no saving it. And my deadlift has never been as good since. I Are you going to give me a break? No. <laughs> Are last you sure time. you're okay with, we, with me competing again? Yes, absolutely. This is the last time you're on the I'm list. I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it would be a weird list if you weren't on it, to be fair. This one isn't as dramatic as, as some no, of the others. No, but it was probably the most serious injury you've had. So this is 2019 World Strongest Man. The yoke of all the things that could hurt you, the yoke. 600 kilos yeah 610 so absolutely no prior warning for the athletes we found out when we got there that it was 610 kilos uh, the yoke so hadn't trained for that weight at all hadn't you hadn't had you you know you hadn't trained for <laughs> i trained mentally <laughs> for these things maybe not physically but i'm right there with you <laughs> so um and obviously resulted in yeah uh, that was going well the farmers i'm um, up against um kevin ferris he's there. good at those events uh, you know um, I know I picked it up, stumbled a bit, and then I picked it up again. And just as soon as I took a step <laughs> again, it was like I was getting shot in the leg. And the Achilles and it's, snapped. The Achilles snapped completely. I didn't know at the time. With 600 kilos on your back, all you can do is just collapse to the floor. Yeah. And it wasn't until I got up again, like the guys helped me up, and I realised I couldn't actually put any pressure on my foot whatsoever. I don't know if you know it's Kevin looks genuinely disturbed, and people who were much closer said they heard hear, it snap. Yeah. So, and he looks disturbed. I think... Um, you traumatised poor Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> he's, come, he's, he's doing good, and it's um, yes. you know I, I remember the guys at the side telling me they could hear it go. Yeah, and it's you know in your head you hear it anyway because you, you you feel it. Yeah, yeah. So but, um, there's probably a natural sound effect that yeah. goes along with that. That was the end of of Big Loz in terms of strongman. Mm. Certainly, that type that that level strongman. It was it was tough because I actually got myself in good shape that year. Yeah, and okay. then. No, Shit didn't. happens. So this next one's a little bit grim. I'm again. I'm going to butcher this poor guy's name. Cis de Vudre? De Vudre? De Vudre? I'm not sure. Okay. Anywho, it's 1983 Europe's Strongest Man, and they're bar bending. Yeah. Bar bending, especially I the know. way they did it back then. It was an injury waiting to happen. Yeah, and there are loads of bar bending injuries. To be fair, but this one, I, I include this one. and Jeff Capes have both done it. I think. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. And Jeff was an incredible bar mm. bender, so it just goes to show it's not always, you know, mm -hmm. a lack of technique or anything. Um, in uh, this one is pretty grim because you can hear it snap. So let's just. Have a listen. <laughs> <laughs> Did my Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Man, it just look oh, look at that positioning of the shoulder. Yeah. I mean, Jeff yeah. smashing yeah. through it there. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff made it. Hit himself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are really struggling. Yeah. Oh, so just, this was like round two. Look at the way well. their arms are. Devastating. Here's the guy. It shows how good Jeff was. Really he just blitzed with you. Yeah. Oh, look how forward his shoulders are on that positioning. He's trying to bench press it. Listen. Stop telling me to listen. That's it. You could just see that was not smart. It was sickening. Look at Jeff's face. Jeff looks pale. That's bad. Oh, he's saying it's bad. It sounded bad. We heard it. We all heard it. Why are we doing this video? You wanted to do it. <laughs> You sick individual? I thought the people would want it, but now I'm not sure. Yeah, but he tore the meniscus delta something. I'm not sure. I was too um, traumatized to listen. 
is cooler than that was that was nasty. Yeah, that was a nasty one. Let's just move on. Let's. Okay, so this next one happened not that long ago. It was 2019 Britain's Strongest Man. Obviously, you know Phil Roberts very well. Um, he really, really wanted to do well in this competition, try and make his first World's Strongest Man. Unfortunately, uh, the fourth Atlas Stone he's loading and... I'm not sure you might know more because obviously you went to visit him afterwards, didn't you? Yeah, it was. This one's a horrible one. I mean, the the injury that he had was was horrendous, to be yeah. honest. I, th I think what happened was his foot got like smashed between two stones, or his, his leg. His, um, between the floor and the um, stone, was it? Yeah, the, the tibia and fibia. Um, play it. Completely snapped. Yes. He was actually at risk of losing his leg, wasn't he? At one stage, but, um, yeah. And he had to have extra surgeries, like he had to go through a number of surgeries. Yeah. He's amazing though, there you see. And he just crashed it into the other stone as well. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it's, a, it's a bad one. Luckily, I mean, I, I went to see Phil a couple of, well, probably six months after, and he was making some progress. And since then, he's come back and he competed to um, UK Strongest Man last year. Yeah. So that, you know... Certain injuries are not too bad to come back from. That is a big one. And the guy, you know, he had a metal cage around his leg. He had to rebuild. He had to take skin grafts. And, and, yeah. and you know, to come back from that kind of injury, it shows the mental toughness of the man. And, you know, I really hope he can get back to his best and, and beyond. But that was, you know, if, if anyone's whinging about a small little injury and you see a man like that take that and they can come back, then, you know, we can all come back from anything. So, as horrible as these are to see... Yeah, it's quite inspiring for the guys that worry. A lot of these guys, you know, manage to come back from them and, and you know, keep, keep improving. Now, this next one is quite a famous one. Uh, first World's Strongest Man, Franco Colombo, in the fridge carry. Now, Franco Colombo was an incredibly strong man, but he was not a big man, was no, he? No, no, I mean, for his size, he was ridiculously strong. He was like an ant. Like for his <laughs> compared to the other guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. what I mean is, you know, that sort of pound, oh, yeah, yeah, pound yeah, yeah, strength, yeah, yeah. Um, but he's doing this fridge carry, gets off to a decent start, and then bam, dislocates his knee. This one again is quite grim, so if you are weak stomached, so yeah. off they go. So you can see how like forward bent they are to start yeah. with as well. Oh, he just goes, it's a nasty one, and because they're strapped in there, he's just it's, dangling there as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's it's trapped. a good job the cage is around them, yes, I guess. It's it's no yoke race, is it? No. <laughs> it's um it's an interesting one, the, it, the fridge carry. Yeah. But yeah, you could see straight away his knee just kind of goes. This next one is a video I've seen on the internet a few times. I've, I've seen this a number of times. Yeah. This one goes around. Um, yeah, so, uh, and I included it. I didn't know the guy, but I included it because it's so infamous, I guess. Um, but... Apparently, he was okay. He didn't actually suffer a serious injury as bad as it looks. Um, this guy is a Canadian strongman. He's called Craig um, Bongelli, is that? I'm guessing it's French. And it was Bavarian Strongman Challenge. Apparently, this is a 210 kilo Atlas stone. stone. If you trust the Daily Star. <laughs> is that your source for this one? That was my source, yeah. This is um this is my best uh, my best work. <laughs> but, yeah, apparently it's a 210 kilo stone. Um it's a heavy it, it's a heavy stone. It looks like maybe he's lifted it up with a slightly too high pickup. He's having to get into a super awkward position to try so it's like that ring stone you remember like the yeah, yeah, sir? yeah and um well I'll watch and see what happens i've seen people <laughs> i don't suppose you've got it but i've seen people lose fingers on the stone ring before i don't have it okay. thankfully i don't think i'd um include lost digits that's a bit too much even for me. <laughs> it looks like a big stone to be fair it probably is yeah. 200 210 so here he goes you can see he's not got the height on it there no and his hips are pushing forwards yeah he's on his you tippy toes like, oh, oh my goodness that one is nasty. I mean, great instincts from that guy who was next to him, picks him up just to release his legs that were trapped underneath him. But um, that that visually is probably the worst we, we've seen. Luck. I mean, you said he was all right, which is yeah, apparently amazing. no long term injury or anything right. like that. But I mean, maybe a cracked rib or two <sighs> by the looks of it. I'd be amazed if he didn't suffer at least that much. Yeah, but, um, that was. It's just like the legs just totally give way. It was it was horrible to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I do hope the guy was like he's not someone I know, so I, I, I can't tell you. If you're watching this, Craig, say hi in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know you're okay. Yeah, please. Um, that was that was a, a very nasty one to look at. So we've only got to suffer through two more now. Just two more to go. So this one. I'm glad I've already trained today, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you'd be scared to step into the gym. You know, no one can complain. They've clicked on this video. You agree to sit here with me. <laughs> I just want everyone to know this was your idea. <laughs> it was my idea. I don't know 
know why. I hate injuries. <laughs> I'm super squeamish. Okay, so next we have Mark Philippi. So this was... I know this one, yeah. 1998 World's Strongest Man, the final. So this... Uh, World's well, Strongest Man was notorious for people getting injured, for people getting sick. I mean, we've heard about it a few times now. This was during the car roll. So um, they're doing it on sand, which is that a good surface for car roll? I mean, in hindsight, it doesn't sand seem like Sand is not it. the best surface for anything because... <laughs> You're unstable, yeah, you? Yeah, sand is, is just tough. You know, I've done loading events in sand, moving events, and it's that rolling of the ankle, and so you don't have that stability. You yeah. know, it slips easily. It's, it drains your legs very quickly. Yeah. Just if anyone's ever just ran on sand, or running, you know, walking, yeah. it's, it's not easy. So to then flip a car, or... or it's pretty tough. So um, he's trying to roll this car, and unfortunately the car rolls back on him, and his leg gets stuck behind him. Let's take a look. Against Wout Zylstra there? Yeah. Just recently spoken to him? Yeah. So they have the barrels in there just to try and stop it rolling back. Yeah. So you're watching the guy in black for those that aren't sure. I, I like the car a flip. I think it's a cool event. But yeah, you need the right surface. and It's a dangerous event, isn't it? It's, um... You can see it like this. Luckily, you can't see it properly, but like no, but look, look at his, at his leg. leg. Look at the position he ends up in. Yeah, not a nice one. Oh, I've been been in that position so many times, and you know the guy is just devastated. Yeah, the <laughs> suffering, and then someone wants to interview you. It's nothing. It's worse. the worst thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all you want to do is cry yeah. <laughs> and hide away from the world. Maybe eat some ice cream. Oh, definitely eat some ice cream. So, what's our last one then? Okay, so the last one. It's quite an iconic one. I think it's uh, probably one of the most famous injuries in Strongman. Uh, this was 1995's World's Strongest Man arm wrestling event. <laughs> I can see what's coming. <laughs> yes. So Nathan Jones, I think the backstory here is a, quite important. Okay. Uh, they're in the group stages. They're doing arm wrestling. Nathan Jones goes up against Phil Martin. Yeah, I'm And right. quite comfortably pins him, he's looking strong. He's obviously feeling very confident. He has Magnus Samuelsson next. Magnus Samuelsson was a former European arm wrestling champion. And Mega Man is saying, well, he's not gonna win this one easy. And oh my God, the... Um, he... well, I, I do a bit of arm wrestling, so I know the difference between arm wrestling a strong man and arm wrestling an arm wrestler. Yes, and Mega Man unfortunately learnt this lesson too, the very hard way, so... I mean, first, here you go, you can see him up against Phil Martin. You watch straight away, all he's doing is using arm power there. And against yeah. someone that's not as strong... Just terrible. <sighs> and there we have it. <laughs> that was such a lovely list, Lizzie. Did you enjoy that? Oh, yeah. That was, um, you know, exactly what the doctor ordered after the amount of injuries that I've had and deciding to try and get back into strongman. But, and I do arm wrestling as well. <laughs> well, do you know what? I thought, you know, we do quite a few top 10 videos and I thought to myself, what's the top 10 that people would enjoy seeing? And, and it, like people do have a sort of morbid curiosity when it comes to things like injuries. But I thought it would be more morbid just to have the video footage sure. with a voiceover. And so I thought maybe Us a laugh, reaction laughing at the young guys would be more appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> How can I make it fun? <laughs> Um, but yeah, there you have it. That is my attempt at making this fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you don't unsubscribe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it was a it was an interesting one to watch. Obviously, the strong man has the risk of injury as all Every sports sport. do. Yeah, uh, and, and a lot of these guys managed to come back from from these injuries yeah, as well. Yeah, they do. Most of them did. Watching a lot of the, the, the injuries there, a lot of the injuries were due to poor technique. Dehydration, you know, we hear like people go on about hydration all the time, yeah. massively important. Yeah. And training methods and technique and things are, are much, much better. But even with all those, when you're competing at the high level in any sport, there's a risk of injury. And, you know, it's um, it's always in the back of your mind, but you, you have to learn to sort of do everything you can to prevent it, block it out. Yeah. And if the worst does happen, you can still come back from it. Yeah, as many of these men proved. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.